Hello and welcome to this session on information retrieval. Today we shall take a look at the popularity of web pages. I'll start with a random surfer model. A random surfer may start from any node uh, with equal or uniform probability. So let's say we have three nodes, uh, one, two, one, three marked here. So yeah, let's assume each of these nodes are some websites. Uh, so let's say one is tripleits.ac.in, uh, two is mhrd.gov.in, and three is tripleita.ac.in, and some uh, page in these websites. Okay, so that's what uh, these nodes indicate. <coughs> Sorry, and uh, the existence of a uh, uh, link uh, from one website to other is marked with an arrow. So if you are on the landing page of tripleits.ac.in, um, according to this figure there is a link uh, to mhrd.gov.in and uh, if you are at mhrd.gov.in there are links to both tripleits.ac.in as well as tripleita.ac.in okay so we more we can model the web as a graph uh, in this manner um, and we already know that we can represent any graph using an adjacency matrix uh, Please pause the video here and write down the adjacency matrix for uh, this model of the web. So you should have got something like this. Uh, as I said, um, if you take the first website, tripleits.ac.in, it is only connected to the second one, which is mhrd.gov.in, and there are no other links. Similarly, the second one is connected to the, the number two uh, website is connected to number one and number three. So we have a 101 on the adjacency matrix here and so on. So now that we, we can construct an adjacency matrix like this, um, now let's go on and uh, try to understand how to use uh, this graph. Um, okay, so uh, in a random surfer model, our uh, plan is to model a web surfer. So, so a web surfer who has interest in knowing something uh, or who has some kind of an information need um, may simply open a browser and go to any of the website. So let's call that the ability of the uh, surfer to teleport. Uh, or if he is on any one web page, he can also navigate to another web page through by following the link in that web page. So there are two ways that a surfer can uh, switch to a new website, either by following the link on the web page or by simply changing, uh, going to the address bar and hitting some URL, uh, which we say is teleporting to a completely new web page, irrespective of whether there was a link or not in that web page. Okay. So now I want to model uh, both this teleportation as well as following the link um, as uh, probabilities. How can I do that? So we start with a graph of the web and then we uh, take its adjacency matrix representation from there. If the random surfer is, uh, is at one, so let's assume the random surfer is at one. Um, and let's assume there is a teleportation probability of alpha. Uh, so if the uh, if the surfer did not teleport, the, uh, then he did not teleport with a probability of one minus alpha. If he teleports, then he may simply type any of these addresses uh, uh, and then teleport. So that's uh, he can move to any of these addresses with a probability of alpha by three. So the transition probability from one to either of these three pages would be um, he, from one, he can again reach to one by teleportation, alpha by three. Uh, similarly, he can reach three also only by teleportation. So the transition probability is alpha by three. He could reach two either by teleportation or by following a link. Uh, so that's uh, either alpha by three or uh, by 1 minus alpha in the case where he does not teleport he has only one choice there is only one link out of 1 to 2 so he he follows 1 minus alpha plus alpha by 3 so that's the that's the transition probability here 
So let's say alpha is 0.5. Um, calculate the transition probability matrix for this network. Please pause the video here and work it out for yourself. So if you do that, you should have got um, 1 over 6, 2 over 3 and 1 over 6 again. How did we get this? Um, alpha is half. Uh, alpha over 3 would be 1 over 6. So that's my that's what would happen if I teleport. So the probability of reaching any of these uh, websites is 1 over 6. But I see that I can reach 2 either by teleportation, that's 1 over 6, or by uh, simply following the link that is 1 minus alpha which is 1 minus half that is half. So half plus 1 by 6 would give me 2 by 3. Can you go ahead and complete this matrix for me? Please pause the video here and when you are ready unpause. So this matrix leads to these values, right? So, the, so this network leads to these uh, values for the matrix. Okay, so now let's assume that uh, the uh, surfer continues to uh, travel randomly across the web. So he keeps on surfing from one page to another, another page to another, either by following the link or by teleporting himself. So what happens? So if a if a random surfer from one can reach one to three with these probabilities, where will we where will he end up in the next time slot if he chooses to continue his walk? So let's do one more iteration of his walk and see what happens. Now how to simulate this? Well, we simply uh, replicate the Markovian idea. Uh, so we know the initial probabilities and the transition probability matrix is given over here. So now that we know both of these, we can simply multiply this to arrive at the next set of transition probabilities. Now if I keep doing this, this uh, is a Markov chain which should converge and the steady state probabilities should give me the uh, scores uh, for each of these websites. Right, so you see that uh, if you do this, you get 1 over 3, 1 over 3, and 1 over 3. So if the random surfer keeps walking, the probabilities tend to converge. Uh, this follows from the ideas of Marco chain. Uh, since, and in this case, um, we are assuming a ergodic Marco chain, where a Marco, a Marco chain is ergodic if every state is reachable from every other state, and uh, there are no zeros uh, in the probability matrix. In our case, uh, we should get uh, uh, 5 out of 18, 8 out of 18, and 5 out of 18. Please uh, work it out for yourself. So from this, we could say that uh, uh, since page 2 has the highest probability of reaching, uh, uh, you know, it, should it, it should be the most popular page uh, over the web. So one way to arrive at popularity of web pages is to use uh, this approach to arrive at a score and we call this as the page rank. There is also another approach to find popular pages and we call that uh, hits. So in the hits algorithm, uh, it, the objective is basically to, um, to assign a page rank to topic specific uh, to specific topics rather. Uh, so let's say I care for leukemia and I, uh, for all the leukemia pages, I want to stamp some kind of popularity score. What can I do? So in this approach, we categorize the web pages uh, into two classes, the hub and the authority. Authorities are those trusted pages which carry the information and hub pages are those which uh, link to authority pages. So think of this as um, uh, you know as some some pages that contain lots of links to several blogs. Okay, so so someone directing you to some good blogs. Uh, so that kind of a page becomes a hub, and the blog by itself becomes an authority. 
Yeah. So what we are interested in doing now is to find out those high quality hub pages and high quality uh, authority pages. So our objective again is to assign a hub score and an authority score for each page. So remember every page that is out there either could be a hub or an authority uh, or we could say they could be both with some kind of a score. So something has a hub score and every page has, has some hub score and some authority score. So let's say uh, we denote it by H of V. So hub score is denoted as H of V and uh, authority score is denoted as A of V. So given a web page V, we are interested in finding these. The intuition here is that a good hub page points to many good authorities and a good authority page is pointed to by many hubs. So the picture looks something like this. So I have a hub page which has lots of outgoing links to authority pages and there are authority pages which have several incoming links from hubs. So the more the uh, hubs point to a page then the page authority score improves and similarly uh, more authority pages being pointed out by hubs uh, the hub score would increase. So these are um, in some cases uh, complementing each other or contributing to each other's scores. So let's uh, arrive at an algorithm to compute them. Uh, for all pages we initially uh, um, give a score of 1 to uh, 1 has the hub score and the authority score. So every page has H of V as 1 and A of V as 1. Let's assume V to Y denotes that there exists a link from V to Y. So there's an outgoing link from V uh, and it acts as an incoming link to Y. Then we simply do an iteration and update uh, H of V and A of V for all pages. Um, so while we iterate, we just sum up all the um, authority scores uh, wherever there is a link from V to Y and assign that score to H of V. Right? So basically if I go out, um, so if I'm interested in finding the hub score of this page, so this will be just a summation of all the authority scores. So summation of all these, uh, some of the summation of the scores of all these pages which we initially uh, set as one. And uh, simply uh, the authority score is uh, a summation uh, of all the hub scores. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have these two, um, uh, okay, I think this is instead of V to Y, it must be Y to V. Uh, the link must be reversed over here. Okay, so now that, uh, so the same thing can be written as a H vector as a for some matrix A, uh, A, A vector or uh, for the uh, authority scores, uh, authority scores which is simply a vector of uh, scores of individual websites, um, we have A transpose uh, H, right? So, so this follows from, um, from the first formulation. Okay, um, let's wear our mathematical at and uh, see that uh, there is something simple happening over here. So what are we trying to do? So once we have the H vector and A vector, all we are trying to do is keep on iterating um, till uh, the scores stabilize. That's our objective. So here I can simply rewrite A as, uh, um, I mean A vector as A, A transpose H. So if I replace that here, I get H vector as A A transpose H vector and A vector as A transpose A, A vector. So A transpose A, A vector can be replaced over here. So this is what we have got and we want to keep applying this till uh, the H and A scores stabilize or converge. But we don't have to do this kind of a power iteration, meaning iterate so many times. Um, we know that uh, uh, this resembles our eigenvalue idea right so all we have to do is if we know that the principal eigenvector for this is uh, eigenvalue for this is uh, lambda h then i so this is simply lambda h h is some matrix a uh, and h vector right so 
uh, so we know that so we just bring the uh, eigen values down so h vector is simply 1 over lambda h where lambda h is the principal eigen value um, and uh, a a t uh, h vector so similarly uh, i can compute the a vector so you see that i don't have to iterate now and i can get the hub and authority scores directly once i have the a matrix with me let's take an example so let's assume uh, i give you a network like this uh, where the nodes are web pages and edges are links and uh, these uh, gms and cars and fours are the uh, text that you find on the links the hypertext that you, that exist on the links if we are interested in specific topics uh, we take only that subset of links which have related terms in the um, uh, in the hypertext so let's say i i took this uh, subset and here is a network and i am interested in finding which of these nodes are hubs which of these nodes are um, uh, authorities um, so let's say um, for this example uh, just for clarity we double weight the jaguar edges okay so if i double weight the jaguar edges i get two here um, uh, in all other places i leave uh, the you know if there is an edge there is a one if there is no edge then there is zero so let's just take a quick example um, from d6 um, from d6 to d5 there is a link um, from d6 uh, d6 to d5 there is oh no sorry d5 to d6 there is a link so d5 to d6 there is a link but d5 to d1 there is no link um, so so that's how we computed the adjacency matrix and you see that uh, the jaguar links are pointing from d6 to d3 and d2 to d3 yeah so that's why we are uh, double weighting here so there is uh, no trick happening with double weighting here so this is a textbook example on the manning's book so i just uh, took it from there um, uh, you don't have to double weight uh, any specific uh, edge okay so if we do like this then uh, the hub score and authority scores can be computed uh, using the formula that i that we we arrived at just before so you just apply this so you have the a matrix you have the a transpose you can find the principal eigen uh, value and then you can find the h and the a vectors now if you observe uh, the h vector and the a vector you see that the highest values are um, if you start from d0 d1 uh, the d2 and uh, d3 d4 d5 d6 so d2 and d6 are having the highest values so they are the high quality hubs uh, or the most popular hubs and the uh, if you look at the authority score it seems like uh, d0 d1 d2 d3 yeah so d3 seems to be having the highest uh, authority score so if you look at it um, uh, d3 is being pointed by pointed to by two um, hubs high quality hubs which are uh, d2 and d6 yeah so which uh, which is obvious by looking at the transition matrix as well so hope this uh, clarifies i repeat uh, understanding the popularity of web pages is very useful when it comes to building search engines um, so this is particularly useful in ranking or scoring and uh, there are two popular ways of doing this one is to compute the page rank for the given web pages and another is to um, uh, focus on uh, topic specifically you know focus po focus topic specifically and uh, one way to do that is through the hits algorithm that's all there is for today thank you